hey so right now I am in my other machine so as a proof for it I'll just uh, give me I open command prompt and I'll give the IP config IP config yeah so it's 192.168.0.106 so earlier the hub machine is 102 okay and this is my mode node machine and this is 106 right so let us see first are we able to access the hub machine from here or not okay so for that you need to give a URL like this okay just note it down all those HTTP slash 192.168 this is an IP of my hub machine okay basically here I am trying to provide the IP of my local machine which is hub that we configured in our last session okay dot one or two right this is the IP machine of my hub machine and in this IP machine remember uh, grid is running on 4444 port right so if you go back and see uh, one second uh, let me open notepad here yeah so in my look in my hub machine I try to access the console by just giving local host 4444 slash and I provided grid slash console okay here as well you, I can I cannot give local host here to check because local host will point to the node machine but hub is not actually running in the home uh, node machine so that's the reason in the local host place I am providing the IP address of my uh, hub machine and I am giving 4444 port because here I actually configured it okay this we have seen in last session but the only difference is here I am trying to access my hub machine from this node okay now click on enter right that means we can come to the second conclusion that my node is able to access the hub interface okay so that's done you can check it by just giving this URL in your local machine as well you can check by just providing local host and check okay so two configurations is done number one local uh, we are able to successfully start the grid server and uh, start the hub in our local machine and number two we are checking that are we able to access it from other remote machine yes we are able to access but we didn't yet register node okay we, for to register the node you need to go to command prompt and provide some commands then only this local this node machine will get connected to this hub machine okay so right now if you start your script selenium scripts from your hub machine it won't run it here because you did not provide connection you just access the web interface of your hub from here that's it you didn't uh, connect your node to hub so you need to provide one command which actually registers this node to that hub so only after successful registration and whenever you run something from hub then execution will start in this machine okay right now we are just cross checking are we able to access that machine okay so with this console we just came to second point conclusion that we are able to access right now we need to register this node to that hub okay for that you need to download selenium jar file even in this uh, node machine okay so as usual selenium server jar how we downloaded for hub same thing uh, get downloaded and store it in c drive okay so I actually save have the same file in my C drive. So let's give the command to register now for our hub from this machine, right? So let's go back and okay, this is IP config, right? Yeah, right. So let's give the command again now to register this node to that hub. Again, in the same fashion, there is nothing new. Uh, remember how we registered our hub in the same way java hyphen jar space and come down here and take the entire control c copy it and come back to your command prompt paste 
dot jar and next role here in the previous uh, hub registration we have given role space uh, hub right but now we need to provide the node role here node role is nothing but web driver role web driver is because we need to execute that in this machine okay that means web driver has to act as a proxy for this mission to complete your execution so you have to tell that it needs to play the role of web driver okay and then now completed so we have successfully uh, told that i am playing the role of web driver but now to what hub you are getting registered that information you need to provide here okay so i am getting registered to hub and give the ip address of that hub http colon slash slash 192 dot go back what is 192 dot so now this is the ip address of my hub machine in our last in our last lecture one dot 0 dot 102 okay 102 and we are reasoning on 4444 port number and the grid slash you have to give register okay so now 4444 is the port where hub will start listening right so now hub should send task to our this local machine node right so to what port it should send the tasks so that this node will listen from that port and receive the information provided by hub and starts execution so give the port number to where that hub should send task to this machine okay you can give some double five double six something any port so you are saying that this is the web driver uh, node which is ready to execute test so it got registered with the hub which is at this ip address okay and with this port and now that IP address port hub will send a ta after registering will send a task to double five double six port in this machine. So this machine will listen this at this double five double six port and start execution. Okay. So this is the command you need to give. And now click on enter. It says it started okay, launching Selenium node exception not find non loopback IP4 address for this machine uh, I think there is some error let me check let's start with other port and see double five six seven no 